Big Nash is 47 here. Second, guys. Hello. So, gotcha. <laughs> Didn't see that last time.
These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them, be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn. Beautiful. A novice. Beautiful word. The Assassin Brotherhood. That's him. Continue. I thought there were like zero zero four awards. I'm not sure what the what that was about. Did I get the the rewards? Achievement for the win. Do do do. Bam. 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 <laughs> loading screen. The loading screen is super fun. We all we all know and love it. At least the one in Skyrim's like got uh it's interactive. You can rotate the image. Speaking of Skyrim, I have Skyrim now for my PC, and it's modified, and uh, we welcome back. Shall now that I'm you've experienced life as an assassin, bit of that, are like, you willing to put up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We mm -hmm. looked at a media file from Aftergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Okay. Good choice. Welcome to the Welcome assassins, to the Initiate. Sweet! Level five. Whoa. Abstergo Industries. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, an and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. That's... 
They have good writers over at Ubisoft. So, this is where we stand. Pause. This is where we stand. We're out of time with this video. Heh. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Bone Tuna. And we'll see you next video.